are these people for real? Do you see that? Dumb. She has a bumper sticker that says this is dumb. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. What the f is that? There should be a law against having to drive like that and then have a, that stupid of a sticker. Alright guys, out here in beautiful Hot Springs at the Northwoods Trail System and we are about to take the all new 2021 Mongoose Ledge X1 down to Cat's Meow, everybody's favorite test track. We're going to do a little real time review for you, see how this thing shifts, see how the tires handle. I have a feeling we are going to get a flat and I'm end up walking this bike back. <laughs> uh, the trail is really dry today. Is it? This, this bike looks... Like it can walk the walk. So but, you're saying, is it all hat and no cattle? Yeah, is it all hat and no cattle? I don't know. We'll see after we get down the cat's mouth. This thing is back in one piece. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Hopefully I don't lose my kickstand. Something's already squeaking. Whenever we ride these bikes, we do not adjust them. So this is bone stock, just how you would get it out of uh, the box at Walmart if you're gonna put it together. And we put it together and hopefully everything stays together. Now these tires are the exact same. I don't know if we can handle them. I'm gonna have to spit on them stanchions. A little bit of spit. Spit these stanchions up. Wow, that's crazy loud. These forks, very heavy, terrible. Remember the dropouts were really thin on them. I'm kind of worried about that. Uh, and the tire, same as the Ardor has got they do have some grip in the beginning, but one thing we're noticing on the Axum that we've got, the DP, it's got the same exact tires as well. And I haven't ridden on that bike very much, and it's really losing tread. So this tread's pretty much crap. It does okay on the first ride as far as grip goes. And then after that, it kind of goes to sh The bike being a 27.5, dude, this frame could not feel any better. I'm not uncomfortable. I'm not crowded. I don't feel overly stretched out. I'm 5'5", and this bike fits me so well. And what's nice is the standover height is there. There's like so much room for me to stand over the top tube and not feel like I'm in danger if I do have to plant my feet real quick on the ground, uh, which we might be doing on the Cat's Meow. The most recent rear suspension bike that we've tried out is the XR Pro, and that bike's rear suspension worked probably the best um, out of the box than any other bike, any other full suspension uh, bikes that we had. Now this one here is kind of right below, it's in between this and the Temasur uh, project here in Masu before we upgraded it, as far as movability and like uh, just travel on it. It's stiff, but it's not like riding on a lawn chair like the Tierra Masu was. And the XR Pro is actually pretty buttery. It was just crap, you know. We'll see how it does going down the cat's meow as far as maneuverability. Uh, but I'm impressed. Now, do you guys remember the Pro Rush? We did do the drop test and it has a clutch. Uh, most Pro Rush clutches are crappy. This one kind of made a difference, I think, uh, on the, the chain stay. When we get done with this thing, we're probably going to just have the frame left over, you know. But it's got such cool uh, features, you know. It's got the internal routing for your uh, rear derailleur and your brakes. It also has internal routing for your dropper post, internally routed for a dropper. And uh, the seat post diameter is a 27.2. So not too hard to find, uh, but they are getting up there in price. The thing definitely needs a dropper post. Um, I'm still happy it's my size, but guys, we're almost at the cat's meow. Bike's doing pretty well climbing. Uh, the gears are okay. It's a 14 to 38 tooth. Probably could use some more. Um, we're gonna see what we're gonna top out in the cat's meow. Might be better with an 11 tooth or something like that. See what the top end speed is. Cause I'm gonna try and fly down that trail and really use both front and rear suspension on this bike. Cat's meow, we've got the Ledge X1 crotch camera all ready for you guys. Let's do this. All right, so I'm hoping I'm in seventh gear. Uh, because I don't want to have a surprise shift on me. All right, now my feet are already coming off of these pedals. I can't reach the first brake lever on the left, but 
The rowing is there, baby. <laughs> hey, the landing wasn't too bad. The rowing is completely there. Oh, you can get some freaking air on this thing. It's a secret. You can get some air on this thing. Wow. A bike that is my size, that is full suspension. Okay, like we we're talking about earlier, the gearing is there, but, oh, second. Oh, <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard the damn chain flew off. <laughs> the shifting, I was ready topping, topping out on the speed, but I came down so freaking hard right now, the chain flew off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not a lot of chain slap, but I think a lot of that has to do with the uh, Robert Fraser chain protector back there. The forks, I think I busted them puppies loose finally. I mean, I went all the way up and bottomed them out. Quick release is nice and tight. Dropouts are there, they're good. All right, uh, let's continue. Man, it's smooth, it, it's, it's smooth. It doesn't overdo it on the rear end and it doesn't uh, not move enough on the front end. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's not like jumping on a mattress. All right. I'm in seventh gear, I think, I hope. We got the spot between the trees. Here, let's hear how it sounds. Ooh. Oh, this bike's going to be nasty, guys. Tire test area down here, but the rowing, because I'm so small, it can just maneuver right between my legs. Oh, shoot. Okay. Ooh. Oh, buddy, did them brakes kick in. Man. Uh, I think I knocked something loose. Uh, All right. These tires aren't doing bad, but again, they do well on the first run. It's that second one you got to worry about. <laughs> okay. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's get down here. See if we damage anything. Something doesn't feel right with the bars. Everything is still in one piece. These bars feel a little funky, but maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just me. Hopefully it's just me. Okay. Uh, wow, guys. I'm very impressed with that ride going down the cat's meow. The bike is so smooth. Like I said, it doesn't feel like I'm, I'm on a mattress just jumping and jumping and jumping on it. It actually feels like I have some control throughout the trail. This bike is going to be so much fun. Uh, um, just uh, upgrading. I can't wait for it. Finally, a bike my size. Now, we do have the XR Pro. We're going to be putting that fork and that new rear DNM shock on. So, I'm wondering when that bike gets to uh, be fully upgraded and then we've got this one, we're going to be definitely be doing some test runs going down to Cat's Meow. We'll be doing the test track. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and get back up to the truck and we will talk about it. Okay, hang on. I just want to interrupt real quick and say, did you ride the whole thing? Yeah, I rode the whole thing. Holy crap, that was fast. I was fast. slowing all the way down. I mean, dude, this bike is a blast. You remember how much fun I had on the R-Door? Yes. I was like, oh my God, this bike is just great. The sizing. Dude, Mongoose nails it again. If you're looking at getting this bike to take out and maybe go a little bit harder, maybe some light blue trail type of stuff and try out some jumping and just learning on maybe a full suspension, this bike right here, um, I think we'll offer that. It doesn't feel like the XR Pro with being super squishy in the rear end. And it doesn't feel like the Temasur where it feels like you're sitting on concrete. This thing is right in the middle and it really allows you to feel that rear end and uh, just kind of know where it's at at all times. So you're um, saying it's worth the price? $400 is a little much, you know, maybe knock $100 or so off of it. A little much still. Or put, or put a free hub. Yeah, or put a free hub at that price. I think it'd be worth it. Um, if this price, if this bike does drop down after the X2 comes out, definitely something for you guys to be on the lookout for. But man, pretty impressed with it. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate you guys watching Wolf Dig videos as always, and we will see you guys on the next one.